there's a vent, but it's too small for a person to fit through. And it's also screwed shut from the inside. It seems impossible to remove. Oh, what's this now? Master, I discovered something! There are marks in the gap between the fence, like something scraped against it! Really? But, given your height, you couldn't see it even if you stood on a chair. Uh, Halara, can you use that chair to peek into the vent? I will do so for 10,000 shen. You're charging me for it? I just... The marks in the vent seem to be left by strings rubbing against it. Did someone hitch a string to it or something? It shouldn't even be visible from your perspective. I'm surprised you noticed. Oh, uh, it was just a hunch. See? I told you I'm useful. I do way more than just float around. This is... Hmm. That's... The door here can only be locked with a key. However, there is only the master key. No spares exist. The scenario resembles the locked room mystery in the casino. We can disregard the possibility of a duplicate key. The master key was found in this room at the time of discovery. This is also similar to the locked room mystery in the secret club. But there is one difference. The key was found underneath the corpse. Under the corpse? But we can't move the corpse in the past, so we can't confirm if that's true. Poe's cognition isn't all-powerful, but it's a fact that the key was found under the corpse. I have a crime scene photo, taken back then, in my jacket pocket. No detail has slipped past my efforts. Right. I meant the other photo. This one's unrelated to the case. Oh, this is it. You're right. The key's near the middle of his back. But can this photo be trusted? Could it be something the peacekeepers fabricated? The peacekeepers acknowledged the incident occurred in a locked room. Besides, there's no need for fabrication. After all, it would be more convenient for them to have fewer mysteries to deal with. That's true. Sorry for being doubtful. No, that's expected of a detective. You're starting to figure out how to do your job. Was that a compliment? Is this really all it takes to please you? Also, I drew a sketch of the room's state on the back of that photo. Remember it well. Yeah, okay. But why a sketch? How can it help solve the mystery? Also, what was with that cat photo anyway? That's surprisingly cute.
Yeah. Say. One doll nailed to the wall. Comparatively, there was a nearly obnoxious number of dolls nailed to the walls in the other crime scenes. Maybe there was no room to nail them to the walls because of all the bookshelves in the way? Wait, this doll has both eyes gouged out. Did the culprit do this on purpose? This keeps getting more and more disturbing. But it's kind of creepy, cute. I want to put one next to the top of a staircase so people can run into it at night. Uh, why would you want to do that? You know, this doll seems made of cheaper materials compared to the other ones. Hey, you're right. Like it's made of resin instead of porcelain. The texture looks cheap, but also more durable. Too bad it doesn't have eyeballs. The eye holes are connected to each other in the head cavity. It's like that darkness is staring into me. Huh? There's a mark on the edge of the eye holes near the nose. Looks like a string rubbed against it. How did this mark get here? It's me. 
I see it appear. Uh. Hmm. Now we've gathered enough evidence. Though it appears complicated at first glance, the answer is simple. Huh? Uh, Halara, did you already solve the locked room mystery? What? You haven't? There's no way to solve it with what we have. How is the room locked? It's unfit for one detective to ask another that question. For the sake of your own pride, you must figure it out. Unless you'd like to hire me to do it for you, it won't come cheap. I'll figure it out myself. It's really all about the money with Halara. The longer I'm with Halara, the deeper into debt I'll get. It's starting to scare me. Now, let us be swift. Next up is our last crime scene. Wait! The next one is the art gallery in Gima District. Right. The chief... Not this way. So this is the art gallery. It's closed due to special circumstances. The murder occurred only about a month ago. But I'm certain the crime scene has been cleaned up like the others. Not that it matters to me. But wait! It's not a good idea to break into the art gallery! Did you say something? <laughs> That's our Halora! The crime scene is deep inside the art gallery. It's one of many storage rooms. Come, I won't allow time to be wasted. W wait, please! What is it? S -s is this the storage room where the crime scene took place? It's locked. We're going in. 
More like a couple of thugs or something. Was the first on the scene the person from the church again? As expected, it's the same worshiper. And he did say he was following the victim after finding a doll with the same name. He saw the victim enter the building late at night. He then searched the premises with the art gallery staff. When they opened this storage room, they discovered the body of the victim inside it. The door was locked at the time of discovery, and the key was found inside. Oh, another locked room mystery! That's more total! But I'm starting to get bored. It's not so special anymore. What do you mean special? People have died. Let's start investigating. Yeah, sounds good. It's me. Whose cognition reveals the crime scene in slightly faded colors? The room looked vaguely hazy in my eyes, even with the rows of vivid paintings within the art gallery. The smell of paint oil that permeated the room wasn't that of the past, but the present. If even the smells from the past could be recreated, the stench of the corpse would be much more overwhelming. She used her good looks to have relations with many men. The amount of suspects who could have written her name on the doll was nearly too high to count. The victim has those same marks that suggest being strangled to death. Huh? But there aren't any scratches that would have been left from a struggle. And... You noticed as well. Yeah, there's a wound on the back of her head. It looks pretty deep. This may be the real cause of death. keys that opened this door. Only one of them was inside the room at the time of discovery. The other one was owned by a member of the art gallery staff. That staff member always carried the extra key and used it to enter this room when the corpse was discovered. Where was the key found in the side usually kept? It's supposed to be kept in the administrative office, but it's unknown if it was always there. Maybe it was lost and the culprit found it. Or perhaps the culprit secretly stole it. Either way, the culprit managed to obtain the key somehow. 
One key was in the storage room. The other key was always carried by a staff member. If the culprit is that staff member, then this wouldn't be a locked room mystery, right? Why go through the trouble of making it look like a locked room murder if you'd immediately become the first suspect? I guess you wouldn't. I've been wondering, did the culprit knock this paint can over? If so, it could have been used for some sort of trick. It's unwise to make up your mind before conducting a proper investigation. It may have been like this before the murder, or it could have tipped over when the discovery was first made. All right. You got carried away in the hopes of getting complimented. Aren't you an eager little puppy? Be quiet. Portrait instead of a doll. Why is there such a fixation on dolls? The crime scenes so far have all been abnormal, but this one's just sick and twisted. Hmm. The 
only way in or out of here besides the door is this window. The window juts out and is used as a vent. It doesn't appear big enough for someone to move through. Currently, it opens outwards slightly, but there are no other suspicious traces on it. It seems impossible to enter or exit through here. on the floor, and a doll is nailed against the canvas. One nail goes through the head, another nail is in the chest. But the nail in the chest also passed through the circular hole on the key's handle. Did the culprit leave the storage room after nailing the doll and key to the painting? If that's the case, how did they lock the room? The key was nailed to the picture, so it couldn't have been used. Well, that's what makes it a locked room mystery. I'm sure they figured out some trick. And I need to find out what that trick is. That should be enough. That should do it for the room. Next is the window. It would be best to check outside of it. Go ahead. I'll stay here. Outside the window? All right. Very well. You do everything yourself, huh? Uh, 
And my master does everything he's told, like a good little underling detective. Hilare's right. This is something I took on myself. I can't just rely on everyone else after putting on a tough front for that kid. That's why I have to do it. Or maybe Halara's just taking advantage of you. It's obvious money is that one's only motivation. Even so, I think it's the right thing to do as a professional detective. Master, being overly nice for no reason is stupid. It's why you're so deep in debt. I know, but... What are you mumbling about? Did you check the window? Oh, right! I'll do it right away. Outside the window? Could that have anything to do with the locked room? I wonder what Halara discovered. You know, I think Halara is just having fun pushing you around. I hope... Oh. Here's the window. Well, see anything strange? No, nothing strange about it. I see. Try entering through the window. What? Between the gap? That's impossible! Just try it. Okay. I, I can't. I can't even put my arm through this gap. I can stick a finger in, but that's it. I thought so. Good job. You can return now. Huh? Are you sure? Did you figure something out? Did you not? Not at all. What's that about? Hey! What are you doing here? Shady! I'll call the peacekeepers. Wait! I'm... I'm a peacekeeper. What? Of Amaterasu Corporation? Y yes, of Amaterasu. You totally fumbled that. You're no good at lying, huh? What did you say? Um... We are special investigators for Amaterasu Corporation. We are currently investigating a case. Civilians must not interfere. Uh huh? Oh, right. I'm, I'm sorry. Hey, Halara. Are you sure it's okay to lie like that? I told you before that deception is necessary to finish an investigation quickly. By the way, aren't you an employee here? There's something I'd like to ask you. Can you bring over the staff member who discovered the body from that murder case a month ago? Oh, that would be me. Perfect. Describe the events for us. I'm scared to even remember it, but if it's part of the investigation, then I have choice. I'll leave the rest up to you. Uh, sure. Now, please tell us what happened on the day of the murder. That day, I was doing my closing procedures when someone from the church appeared. He said he wanted me to help him find someone and that he knew the person was inside the art gallery. So we looked around the premises together, but didn't find anyone. According to him, there was a chance that the person he was looking for was being pursued by the nail man. 
I couldn't help but feel terrified when I heard that. How did you notice something was off about the storage room? The lights were on, even though they were usually off. So I went to take a look. The door was locked, so I opened it with the key I had. But I, I was afraid to go any further. So I let the church person go first and open the door while I watched from behind. And then there was a corpse. Did you touch the body? Uh, of course not. I was too afraid and froze at the entrance. What about the churchgoer? He saw what happened at the doorway and didn't go any further. Are you positive you didn't touch anything inside after unlocking the door? Yes, but the churchgoer accidentally kicked a paint can over when he opened the door. And paint spilled all over the floor. So that paint was from back then. Okay, I get the picture. Thank you. You may go now. Oh, right. That brings all the information together. It's time to resolve the case. Uh, wait! I still have no idea what happened! Time does not wait for you. Our deadline is approaching. You hurry back to the detective agency. Huh? What about you? Worry not. When you're in trouble, say my name. Halara Nightmare shall rush to your aid. And gone. What are you gonna do, Master? We've checked everything we can. All that's left is to point out the true culprit, but... If only it were that easy! Oh, I have no clue what to do! Stop being so pathetic! Why don't we go back to the detective agency for now? We might get to see Fuzzhead get executed! Alright! We need to help him! I need to hurry back before the chief gets executed! Let's hurry! I want to know how they'll execute him, too. seems to know who the real culprit is. That's incredible! Come on! Where's your competitive spirit? You might be a trainee, but you're still a detective. 